What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Loversitz from Pixel Fit here. And in this video, we're going to talk about the top six reasons people abandon online shopping carts. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's go. All right, so maybe you just launched your new brand new Shopify store or you had a store for a while and you're getting all this traffic because you learned from you how to run Facebook ads, right? But people are dropping from the cart. Your ATC to purchase radio is horrible and you can't figure it out. So I'm gonna tell you what causes people to drop off from the cart and what you can do to fix it. So make sure to watch till the end. All right, we got number one. Believe it or not, 15% of people are actually uh, concerned with payment security. What does that mean? Maybe your site looks a little bit shady. Maybe you have to spruce it up a little bit. Maybe you have to make it look more professional, but more importantly so, Make sure in the product description you have your, you know, your safety badges. So you can add some, make them look really nice right underneath the add to cart button. Another way of doing it is at the footer of the site. You can use, you know, you can put your Visa, MasterCard, Amex logos and all that stuff. And especially on the checkout page, you can actually add a picture with all the trust badges and the credit card security logos on there and then you know it doesn't hurt to create an faq section for your store that explains how you guys take care of security how all transactions are secure and there's nothing to worry about 100 percent safe and all that good stuff now it used to be back in the day a lot of people used to do the, these really crappy security badges underneath the product descriptions make them look professional if you got added that you don't even have to add the logos at this point just make sure you mention somewhere in there make it look really nice where it matches the theme that every transaction is a hundred percent secure and they can get their money back guarantee all right number two 22 percent of people don't like having to create an user account. What does that mean? That people want to be able to just purchase whatever they want to buy and get out of there. A lot of people like to use PayPal because they can just hit the button and go. They don't have to worry about it. They don't have to log in. They don't have to do any of that. So when you set up your store with Shopify or any store for that matter, make it so they have the option to check out as a guest, okay? You know, some people are just not going to create an account and that's okay. Your ultimate goal here is to get sales. Also, you want to grow your list, but guess what? A sale is better than not getting email address to get the list. And you're going to get the email address anyway, but just don't make them create an user account. Okay. Number three, this is a good one. Um, 4%, 4% of people drop because there's no express checkout available this one amazes me like it amazes me how many people don't offer an express type of checkout you'd be amazed how many people need their products right away where they whether it's for a birthday gift or they're going to a function let's say you sell clothes they're going to a function and they want to have that new outfit ready to go or you know they just want to buy that product and have it now. You guys gotta remember, people are in this mentality, the Amazon mentality, where they can get everything in two days or less with Prime. So, you know, if you you have your products in-house, if you ship bulk, and even if you're drop shipping, you can ask your service suppliers and you, as a business owner, can can offer express shipping. You'll be amazed how, many, how much money you're leaving on the table by not offering express shipping. And the beauty of express shipping, people will pay the money to have it sent to them in a day or so. So make sure you add that option on there. Number four, 8% couldn't, this is a good one, couldn't find a coupon code. All right. Sometimes people are looking for a deal. You know, they've been, they've been seeing your, your, your ads for a while. Maybe they found you somehow, but you know, maybe they're tied on cash and they want some kind of discount or you have the people who are just bargain hunters that just want a deal. Well, 
you should offer some, some type of discount for joining into your mailing list. So make sure you have an app like Willio where they can win a discount code or just put the pop up on the store that if they give you their email address, they give you their information, sign up for your newsletter, you can offer them a 10, a 15% discount. And some stores I do up to 20% discount depending on the store. And guess what? You'll be amazed how many people pull the trigger just because you gave them a discount. So give them a discount right off the bat and see if that makes them convert right away. Okay, that's the reason why people leave stuff in the cart because back in the day we used to train people with Facebook ad that if they left stuff in the cart, they will let it sit there until the retargeting ad will come around with a discount for them to take advantage of. So you know what? Just beat them to the punch, offer a discount up front and just get that sale up front. Just do it. Okay, number five is, what is it? 17%, 17%, we're doing research. You know what? I'm, I'm actually guilty of this one. I'm the type of person, I'm very, very rarely, I'll just buy something on impulse. I'm a very research oriented person when it comes to buying stuff, believe it or not. Maybe it's because I'm in the business. Maybe that has to make a difference, but I've always been like that all my whole life. So a lot of people, what they will do, they will add to their cart and then they will go to Google and start searching for similar brands or similar products. And then depending on what they like the best, they're gonna pick yours or another one. I mean. At this point, you should have an email sequence uh, for uh, people who added to car to get them to come back. Maybe offer them a discount to get them to pull the trigger. But you know, you can't help. Some people are just going to do research, and that's just part of being in the business. Just like you know, return and exchanges. You're going to get return and exchanges. It's part of the business of being in e-commerce, right? All right. And number six, says last. It is last. Yeah, I was going to say last but not least, but it is the last. Oops. 9%, this is the most important one, long and confusing checkout. This is very important. Sometimes, not so much with Shopify, but I've seen it with people that try to overcomplicate the whole checkout process. Okay, make sure you only have three steps from the product to pulling the trigger on buying something, which is uh, add to cart, what is, what is it? Add to cart, checkout, and payment. That's it, three steps. It should be three steps from the point that they add the product to, the, to purchasing the product as a whole. Sometimes people wanna get crafty and they wanna do these complicated upsells and downsells. You can add those, but make sure the process is completely streamlined. Just a tap of a button. Don't make it where you have drop downs and different options and pop ups and all this crazy stuff. People. Don't have, they have to, they don't, I wanna say they don't have time because they do have the time, but they just wanna get it done and over with. You know, when, when you're advertising, especially on Facebook or in Google, when they're searching, you have literally fractions of a second to get their attention, to make them pull the trigger. And the last thing you wanna do is make it complicated. For example, take a look at Amazon. How easy do they make it for you to check out? Like literally, you have one click checkout where, they, where everything is safe. Obviously, if you're starting out or you have a normal store, you don't have that yet but you can make it so just button, one, two, three, done, and they're out. So make sure you check out, it's not confu confusing, and it's make sure it's streamlined. So make sure to take a look at your store, follow these steps, and I promise you your conversion rate on your store is gonna go up and you're gonna get more sales. Guys, if you like that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel by checking them out. And if you like what you see, you wanna keep taking your digital game to the next level, make sure to watch the other videos right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.